Hi. Eric. Hi, Eric. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you? Yes, I do. Thank you. Have a seat. Do you know what it means to tell the truth? Yeah, I think so. What does it mean? I guess just to be a straight talker. Right. Um, let's begin with your green card and your driver's license. Can you show them to me? Oh, yeah. There's my driver's license. You don't have a green card? No, I lost it a long time ago, actually. You know you were supposed to bring it with you, right? Yeah, I, I guess. Okay, all right. We'll try to proceed without it, but uh, you need to understand that all permanent residents must have their green card on them at all times. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Um, can you tell me your name? Eric Ting. Is the spelling on your driver's license correct? Yeah. Do you have any other names? No. Do you want to change your name? No. And your social security number, is it uh, 178? Um, no, uh, it's 123456789. Oh, okay. It wasn't very clear here, so. Oh. And your birth date? July 15th, 1984. Our records show that um, you are a citizen of Canada, uh, is that correct? Yeah. Neither of your parents are U.S. citizens? No. Are you singled, um, married, divorced, widowed? I'm single. And your home address here is 617 Mount Stevenson Court in Los Angeles? Yep. Do you want to uh, include a mailing address here? No, it's okay. Uh, what's your telephone number? I can't quite read it here. It's actually 626-215-2300. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? Jeez. You'll need to turn your cell phone sorry. off. I, I, I didn't realize that. Oh. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. How tall are you? And how much do you weigh? I'm 5'10", about 180 pounds. Yeah, you didn't answer those two questions, so I'm filling it in for you. Oh. Um, when did you move to your current address? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a year ago? Okay, you kind of left that question blank, too. Do you know the exact date? Um... Uh, I guess May 15th. What about before then? Uh, you left this section blank also. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't remember. I don't really know. I know some of these questions are, may require some research, but we ask them for a reason. Uh, if you can't provide the answer now, we'll give you a chance to send us the information when you get it, okay? Okay. Uh, the same with your employment. Uh, you listed that you worked at this store a year, but oh, there's yeah, no the other Ralph's. information. Yeah. I worked at Ralph's um, a while ago, but I can't. I, I worked other places too, but I can't really remember exactly where they were. Or... Okay, well, see if you can dig it up and send it to me. Um, I'll give you our address, and you can take care of that. Okay. And remember to list any period that you were not working, like such as like when you were in school. Okay. Um, to continue, you've taken two overseas trips in the past five years, correct? Yeah. Have you made any other trips since you became a permanent resident? Well, I thought that question was only for the past five years. No, unfortunately. A lot of people miss that. Uh, these two questions refer to the past five years, but this one, see, ask about all your trips since you've become a permanent resident. Oh, okay. Did you bring your passport with you as we instructed? No, I forgot about that. Mm. Okay, we'll move on then. You said you were single? Yes. Have you ever been married before? No. Do you have any children? No. Now let me ask you, have you ever claimed to be a citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote? No. Have you ever voted in any election? No. Since you became a permanent resident, have you ever failed to file a required tax return? No. I always file my taxes. Do you owe any taxes that are overdue? No. Do you have any title of nobility to any foreign country? No, I don't think so, no. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or confined to a mental institution? No. Have you ever been a member or associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the U.S. or in any other place? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associate with the Communist Party? No. Any totalitarian party? No. Any terrorist organizations? No. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Have you ever persecuted anyone because of their race, religion, 
national origin, membership in any particular social group, or political opinion? No. Between 1933 and 1945, were you involved with the Nazi government of Germany or any government associated with Nazi Germany? No. Since you became a permanent resident, have you ever called yourself a non-resident for tax purposes? No. Have you ever failed to file a tax return because you considered yourself a non-resident? No. Have you ever committed a crime for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. Are you sure? Yeah. We have a record from the Department of Justice showing that you were arrested and convicted of a misdemeanor. Oh, that, I mean, that was so long ago. It doesn't really matter how long ago it was, regardless to when it occurred or how minor it seems, uh, an arrest or conviction may affect your eligibility for citizenship. Okay, well, then I guess yes. Can you tell me what happened? I guess I was arrested a long time ago for stealing cassette tape from a store. Okay, any other crimes or offenses we should know about? No. What about traffic violations? You need to know about that too? Yes, we do. Well, I guess I've had some speeding tickets and some other stuff. I'm guessing that you didn't bring any documentation for your arrest or citations uh, as we requested? No. Uh, have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? Well, yeah, just a little bit when, for that, when I stole that cassette tape. Okay. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Hmm. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances? No. Have you ever helped anyone enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Have you ever failed to support your dependents? No. Have you ever given false or misleading information to a government official while applying for an immigration benefit? No. Have you ever lied to a government official to gain entry or admission into the United States? No. Are you in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Have you ever been removed or excluded or deported? No. Have you ever been ordered to be removed, excluded, or deported? No. Have you ever asked for any kind of relief from removal, exclusion, or deportation? No. Have you ever served in the military, Eric? No. Have you ever left the United States to, be, to avoid being drafted into the armed forces? No. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption for military services in the armed forces? No. Have you ever deserted the United States armed forces? No. Okay. Did you live in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthday? Yeah. At that time, did you register for selective service? I don't really remember. Okay, that's okay. We can look it up for you. Okay. But if it turns out that you didn't register, you may be ineligible for a naturalization at this time. Okay. Do you support the Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you understand the oath of allegiance? Yes. Okay. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance? Yes. If the law requires it, uh, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yeah. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combative services in the military? Yeah. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yeah. All right. Here are the answers that we have corrected, Eric. And if you agree with the corrections, could you sign in this box and date it over here for me, please? Okay. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, citizenship applicants must take an oath of allegiance. Uh, will you do so if we find you eligible for citizenship? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then print your name and sign right here. Okay, Eric, we're done with the application and your English is good enough to become a citizen. But we still need to know that you can read and write English. Okay. So I'm going to give you this sentence and ask if you would read it out loud to me, please. George Washington was the first president of the United States. Very good. Very good. Now, I need to know that you can write 
English, so I'm going to give you this blank sheet of paper, and I will read this sentence and ask you to write it. Okay. Thanksgiving is in November. Okay, that looks fine. We still need to test your U.S. government and history knowledge. Are you ready? Yeah. What does the Constitution do? It separates us from England. What is the rule of law? Uh, it's the law that we have to listen to. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Four. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? Pentagon? Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Like parks? What? Like, like, you know, maintaining the parks, the state parks. Oh, okay. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The American flag. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? George Washington. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? I think it's World War II. All right, and uh, finally, name one state that borders Canada. Washington. Good. Um, that answer finally came in handy for you. <laughs> but unfortunately, you didn't get six out of ten correct, so you didn't oh. pass the civic exam. Did you study? No, not really. Well, I think you can pass this exam if you study, Eric. Um, it's really not that difficult um, if you spend some time with it. Here's a list of the questions that you can, that you were asked. Okay. And you can take those home with you and, and study them. So the next time you come, you'll be able to pass the exam. Okay. Okay, Eric, we need to get a little bit more paperwork out of the way. And uh, a second interview would be automatically scheduled for you. So you'll be able to go home in just a few minutes and start studying for that exam. Okay. Cảm ơn quý vị đã quan tâm theo dõi. Xin trân trọng kính chào và hẹn gặp lại ở các video tiếp theo.